seems every time we fill up our gas tanks, we're spending more money. First News Senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti spoke with some consumers about that and heard what two people in the oil and gas business locally think of the high prices. With gas prices rising closer and closer to $5 a gallon, people say they're having to make choices in where their money gets spent. You can't afford to drive around. You literally got to go do what you got to do and go home. You can't leisure anything. Between the food and the gas going up, yeah, you have to pick and choose which one you're going to do. But on Monday, President Biden told reporters the rising prices are part of what he calls an incredible transformation toward reducing the need for fossil fuels. It's incompetence. There's no common sense. It's pretty sad that he penalizes the American people with this so-called transition. Leiden worries the rising prices will impact the overall economy as a whole. He's absolutely destroying the quality of life for Americans. He's absolutely destroying our economy. But not everyone's convinced the high prices we're paying now are here to stay. Mike Kassim operates a pair of Morgan oil stations in the area and thinks this is just a temporary situation. I think the gas prices will always go down because they don't want to price themselves out of the market and they don't want to find, they don't want people to go to alternative. Kasim just predicts it could be another year before prices do level off and start falling again. In Poland, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.